hi guys so in this video we will see that how to create pivot table pivot chart and uh, finally kpi and then how to design the dashboard uh, like according to this data so i like uh, from this data you know you will get to know that uh, how the uh, car selling on this based on this data like uh, the dimension is a name year selling price kilometer driven fuel seller type transmission and owner so uh, maybe we will like a little bit analyze this data and then I can check that how can I design the meaningful KPIs or insight from this. So I just wanted to uh, like uh, make a like a pio table first with uh, like a fuel like uh, what kind of fuel is this and how much uh, like a uh, uh, name up for like a cars are going on that like against to this. So I just wanted to create pivot table. So click anywhere in your uh, like Excel, then go to insert option and create a uh, like click on pivot table. Now this is showing that how to create like ex uh, you want to create in a same Excel or new Excel. So I just want to in existing Excel. So I should uh, give the location where I wanted to create. Okay. So I just wanted to create here. So I click here. I got the location and click ok then i will i will get the pivot uh, this uh, table empty table so in on the basis of this i just want to make fuel in the row so there is you, you can see the row is showing here and in this all fuel type showing like cng diesel electric lpg and petrol all type of fuel is showing here so i just wanted to know that how many like uh, cars are there who is cng based so i just want to uh, like uh, take name and put in the values you can count the name like uh, of that uh, cars who is a cng so 40 is the cng based diesel is uh, this much electric one and lpg 23 and petrol is 2123 okay so overall this so on the base of this i just wanted to create the pivot chart so go to uh, like in, click on anywhere in the pivot table go to insert option and you can go directly on recommended chart so in recommended chart there is a, a few thing bar chart and in the bar chart there is many stacked column or this type so whatever you want to choose you can choose i just wanted to pick this one so click ok now it's a very big let me make it a little bit small okay so you can like a little bit uh, filter on apply filter on this or you can uh, work on this to make it more suitable and looks better so I wanted to remove this button so I click right here and go to hide all fields button on chart. So now I wanted to design like uh, another pivot table and chart uh, against to like a uh, transmission. So I just want to check that uh, how much manual cars are available in this chart and like seat and automatic as well. So cl click anywhere in the seat and go to pivot table and uh, then existing and then i need to give the location i wanted to design pivot table here click ok okay now uh, so i just want to take uh, like a transmission so transmission in the row so once you take there is two things automatic and manual so i just wanted to know that how much uh, like a, a total automatic car are there and how much manual so i just take name of the car and put in the value so it is count that how much uh, like uh, automatic how much manual so i just wanted to design the like a uh, chart as well so click here and go to insert option click on the chart recommended chart i wanted to choose the bar chart okay click okay so once you click okay you will get the chart here okay now you, you can close it so i just wanted to make something on this so let me zoom in okay so this is the chart and i wanted to make something better on this so I just wanted to remove the grid first. Same thing you need to do in everything. Remove the legend and I just want to remove the button as well. Hide the all buttons. Okay. So this is the, I wanted to data on this. So click on data. No, I don't want table. I just want to only data. Okay. So it's visible. I wanted to remove this axis as well. So I will go here and remove, uncheck the horizontal one. Okay. So now it's un, uh, like uh, removed. So you can uh, like uh, mention the name as well here that what is that? Car based 
on transmission okay so you can name here and uh, you can name as well here okay so i wanted to another design another like kpis between like a uh, like owner and seller type so let me uh, click anywhere in the excel click on pivot table and uh, click on excel existing okay so i just wanted to design here give the location click okay now you got empty pivot table so i just wanted to design between owner okay so like uh, uh where is the owner owner you need to put in value i just want to make on seller type okay seller type in row so there are three seller type uh, like a dealer individual and trademark dealer so dealer is doing like a uh, uh, 994 and individual is this and uh, like uh, this this so i just wanted to uh, like make percentage because i just want to know that who is doing uh, like more so let me do uh, so value as and uh, go to percentage of total uh, grand total so now you can see and i just want to to like uh, make it in only percentage not in decimal click here you will get so i wanted to design the pivot chart so click on the pivot table go to the insert option and go to the recommended chart and for this i just wanted to choose i think uh, it's the pie chart so let me choose the pie chart okay click okay now i wanted to let it with modification on this so click right on this hide all buttons and uh, i think it's okay i wanted to percentage over here so click on this and go to like uh, data and i got all kind of percentage okay so you can see here in the arrow the it is showing that where you want to show this data so it is the best fit you want to outside and it will be uh, so outside and but i wanted to best fit so it's okay okay so you can like little bit make it small now the, uh, now in next chart we will see the comparison between like uh, uh, based on year and the uh, selling price that how like year on changing and selling as price uh, also changing so let me click anywhere and go to the insert click on pivot table and uh, then uh, go to existing worksheet and i just want to give the location this one now click okay so i just got a empty pivot table now i just wanted to like uh, calculate the selling price over values and uh, i wanted to year as well because uh, on the basis of year i wanted to selling price so make it like this is the add on of all selling price in uh, 1992 i just wanted to average selling price so go to here and uh, click on blue uh, value field setting and then click on average now you got the average of all year okay on an average that how much uh, like uh, price they are selling in this year this much and this year this much okay so now i just wanted to like uh, uh, create a chart against this so i will click anywhere in this and go to insert option recommended chart now i just wanted to choose i think uh, this one is uh, will be better so i just wanted to choose okay so this chart is uh, i got this chart so i just wanted to remove the button right click and go to hide all field uh, okay now i wanted to remove the legend as well uncheck the legend and uh, now it's a chart showing better and i wanted to make in like k like is uh, in thousand so right click on here and go to format axis then go to the number and here number section and here is the format code so you can just remember the code is 0, 0.0 double comma and then inverted comma inside inverted comma you need to write k your this number will be now converted into the k like uh, yeah 0 0.0 k 0 0.2 k like this okay and one more thing i just wanted to this like uh, with the chart that i just want to that make it in like a different uh select data is you now chart series format okay go to this icon and uh, click here uh, vary color by points okay so now chart will be uh, in different color according to uh, different values okay i just wanted to remove the grid as well so click on here your grid will be removed and in the total i just want to uh, like uh, mention year on year sales okay average sales okay you can make it a sales only 
okay so you can see that uh, here you can uh, point out you will get the value that uh, average sales in 2019 is this much so i created multiple uh, like pivot table and charts as well so i need a few filters on this so for that i need to like uh, create a uh, slicers so click anywhere either chart or pivot table and then go to the insert option and uh, sorry insert option then click on slicer okay so there are multiple option uh, which is you want to choose on the base of uh, on this base of like filtering so i just wanted to filter uh, based on year and uh, fuel okay so i just want to take only two slicer okay so this is the slicer on the base of this your like uh, all records or dashboard will be filtered so i just want to make little bit small because it's a big in size so let me do this and uh, make it like this okay so uh, i just wanted to connect this slicer both slicer to all pivot table so click right on this and go to the connection report then check all the pivot table whatever i created all pivot table uh, should be checked once it will check it will be like connect to all pivot table so i this slicer also need to connect so click right here and go to report connection and check all pivot table okay so once you check all pivot table uh, it will be connected through all pivot table okay so now you you can check like once you click cng your data will be changed on the base of cng okay you can check uh, on the diesel it will data change so here is the button if you click on here you can choose multiple thing cng and diesel lpg okay petrol and once you click here cross funnel you you will get selected all okay so according to this you can change you can see your data is changing so now in next uh, like i just wanted to create the dashboard let me design like a, a dashboard for this kind of kpi so go to for this go to for like a next sheet and uh, then click on uh, like a view option and uh, uncheck the formula bar uncheck the heading uncheck the grid line now you got a like a clean uh, uh, plain sheet where you can work on this so you can like uh, add a color or you can uh, add the background image or anything so i just wanted to add a background image on this so for this device you can choose uh how oh, i have a one blue vg background color okay i wanted to choose this color okay so this is the like color i just wanted to fill over screen then I wanted to insert something which is a shape uh, like I just want to choose this one and create this shape and uh, I just wanted to write here so let me write uh, dashboard of car deco okay so make it zoom like uh, make it bold and uh, big in text okay i make it in center and text color should be white i think that will be better okay now it should fit on this so you can like put on like this okay and you can extract this side as well and place it slightly top okay now i will do something which is i will uh, paste all the what is this chart over this okay i will copy and paste on this i will copy and paste on this i will do only one thing i will copy and paste on this then i will set all the chart okay copy and paste so once you copied all chart from like a kpis and then paste here then you need to only set this chart like i just wanted to make it uh, like a proper place so that it will be visible good okay and you can easily access this chart so by this way you can set this uh, you can arrange by your your own way how you can arrange okay so now you can see this is the like a proper dashboard is designed 
and uh, i just uh, set here the slicer two slicer what i just used previously so you can now you can check uh, you can filter uh, on the base of here like i just want to check in 1992 how much uh, like was uh, transmission based uh, car so it was like only manual okay and uh, on the 95 you can say this and you can choose the multiple thing by clicking here in 95 96 97 and you will get the data according to that okay so if you click here your all data will be selected so you can see and you can check the like uh, based on lpg i just wanted to check only lpg uh, car so it was uh, like manual only and uh, this one okay it's showing overall and like uh, based on lpg so you can like apply the filter according to your choice and then you can check all this uh, details so okay guys thank you so much for watching this video and uh, we will see next so bye bye